Good afternoon, YouTube family. It is Shirley coming to you with a TMI tag. Didn't want to say the other word because I am going through a procedure for TMJ for my jaw. It's locking up and I'm unable to open up my mouth wide enough. So definitely I'm going through some physical therapy at this time. It's just a little quick update of what's been happening with me for the summer. Anywho, I have a dear friend of mine in Australia. Her name is Call Me Lyles is her YouTube uh, name. And she tagged me into uh, she tagged me for the TMI tag. So I'm going to answer the 50 questions. So this will be a long one. And um, definitely if you have not participated in this tag already go ahead and do so if you have the time because it is hard during the summer to uh, upload videos trust me I know it's not an easy thing so I do commend anyone who actually is able to <laughs> with children and and everybody's out for the summer are, are able to still upload and, and communicate still comment all throughout the summer the summer is truly a hard time to to be a youtuber and I do commend the mothers out there, the people who obviously have jobs and are still doing this hobby during, throughout the summer where they're still trying to push out content. And I just wanted to let you know that I truly appreciate you guys and I am trying my best to keep up with everyone. And again, I thank you guys for um, always commenting down below, which I love. And go ahead and join the family if you would like. Go ahead and subscribe and there's going to always be content coming from me unless something happens okay um, I'm gonna tag one of my best friends call me Mika aka Deb I'm gonna put her and Stasha but Stasha might be extremely busy because she's busy too um, and I'm gonna tag those two down anybody else who would like to partake definitely go ahead and um, go ahead and get in there I'll probably tag two more people. I thought of Diamond just now. Um, and hopefully everyone else has time because this one has 50 questions. So definitely do it if you have the time available. All right. The first question, what are, your, what are you wearing? I'm just wearing a regular denim sweater and a matching skirt to go with it. Ever been in love? Yes, I've been in love. I'm and married to my husband uh, for 13 years. We've been together for 17 years. Ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, I had back in the teens, high school. Um, it was a lesson learned and um, it was a, an amazing learning experience. How tall are you? I am 5'7". How much do you weigh? I am 150 pounds. Yes, I know I have to lose some more. And I will because we have a biometrics coming up. And um, with our company, we do get 300 if we are like below everything and everything is correct. Like our heart rate, cholesterol, blood pressure, things of that nature. And your incentive will be $300 cash. That's coming up in three weeks. So I am outside running. I'm doing everything I could do. I'm fasting in the morning. I stopped eating at 6. So... I know I'll get down to the, the actual goal of 143 very soon. Any tattoos? I have one tattoo in the back. Uh, it's uh, one that when my father passed in 2001, I have put it on my back. Any piercings? I have two piercings. OTP, I'm not sure what that is. Number nine, favorite show. Favorite show at this time are all the dance shows that come out in the summer. Every summer, I watch all of the dance shows. So so you think you could dance, Dancing with, well, Dancing with the Stars is in the fall. Um, there's a new one called World Dance that I like. Jennifer Lopez is in that one. That is very, very uh, entertaining to watch. America's Got Talent. And there's another... Um, another one but it's not coming to mind majority throughout the summer I enjoy watching the dance shows my kids love watching it 
and it's just the thing that we enjoy doing. If you follow me on Snapchat, you definitely know what I'm watching, and that's exactly what it is. Number 10, favorite band. Hmm. I'm going to go see um, Kendrick Lamar uh, for Labor Day weekend. So he's not a band, he's an artist. He'll be uh, performing at the Triple A, so I'm excited to um, partake and be there. Uh, something you miss. I miss. I miss. I have. I had a dog, and this was a long time ago. I miss uh, Brandy and Brandon. They were my dogs I had before I went to college. And because I did not understand how they passed, like when I left and went to Rhode Island for college and came back and nobody was able to explain to me what happened to my dogs, it, it just left this feeling of not knowing what what happened. Like if, if I was here to figure out that they died, you know, that he died from either car accident or illness or something um, I would have some type of closure but I don't have closure so it's always in the back of my mind like I miss I miss him he was a purebred chow chow so he was a really big hefty uh, dog that I love very much with the purple tongue that's their signature and that's who I miss right next to, of course, the number one person that I miss the most is my dad because my dad left us very suddenly. So that's a whole nother story all by itself. Um, what else? Um, how old are you? I am 37 years old right now. I'm getting excited to um, prepare for my 40th. It's, it's amazing when you're on YouTube and you see these beautiful people that's 40 plus and they're energetic and they're just happy, full of life. And it just inspires me so much. And it makes me excited to, to get to that level. I love when I see 40 year olds and 50 year olds that are so thrilled about life and, and you could feel their energy and their vibe right through their channel and it just it gives me such an excitement to see that so that is one of my highlights of you know being part of the youtube community is just to see that all by itself uh, let's see favorites zodiac sign i am an aquarius qualities you look for in a partner um the compatible let's see what the uh, just um loving very affectionate and um just um person that's good with understanding and aquarius all to all to begin with you know we already are all over the place quality uh, no favorite quote all right do i have a favorite quote right now well, for the summer, it's been continue on being a blessing to others. And I got that from church. Favorite op actor at this time is Keanu Reeves. You know what? Lyle said that. She said that on her text. So I'm thinking Keanu Reeves automatically. He has just been such a an amazing man. If you did listen to uh, his bio and his history, it's it's it keeps you severely humble. So I do love Keanu Reeves. My favorite color is purple. You know, that's the Aquarius color. I love soft music, louder soft music. Where do you go when you're sad? Go to the beach, stay by the ocean, I'm 10 minutes away. How long does it take for, to take how long does it take you to shower? It takes me about 15 to 20 minutes. And that's twice a day. You know, I do live in a hot place. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It takes me about 15 to 20 minutes. Ever been in a physical fight? Yes. And that person is my best friend to this day. 25 years. Um, turn-ons. Do I have any turn-ons? Trap music is such a turn-on to me. I know that's sad, but it, 
truly is. <laughs> my turnoffs would be um, odor, any unusual odor. Uh, 26, the reason I joined YouTube, the reason why I joined YouTube was because my sister used to do my makeup maybe two years when I was 35, 36. So I got into trying to find out how, you know, she would make up my face and I would don't want to take it off or anything. And she tells me to take it off. You know, you can't keep it overnight. And uh, it was just so fascinating how it really does transform how your mood automatically and uh, how you look completely. So uh, when she decided to uh, be pregnant with her first child, well, her only child, uh, Des, who will be turning one in October, she decided to give up on me. And I had to learn on my own how to put on makeup. And um, I had to get on YouTube and learn and, and I realized that it's something um, I might might as well just be a part of the community. Did not know there was a community within itself where you're able to communicate with others, chit chat, email, text. And so I have a whole nother family on YouTube that I enjoy chatting with. So I decided to have my own channel, support others mainly, and let you guys see the looks that I've created over the age of 35. I just started to get in makeup recently, so I'm really late into the game. <laughs> I started like doing makeup full time, like at work and going out on weekends, maybe for a year and a half now, I'm gonna say. So, late to the game, always been uh, a person that really could care less for it until my sister introduced it to me and then she stopped. So, I had to self taught myself how to finally apply makeup and that would be the main reason I joined YouTube. Fears. Do I have any fears? I always have fears that something will happen to my, you know, anything that would uh, occur with my kids. So I always pray over them when they leave the house and pray over them at night. Last thing that made you cry, 28. I almost started crying right now when I started talking about Brandon, which is my dog, Chow Chow, that uh, disappeared about 15 years ago. Um, last time you said you love someone, I said that to my husband this morning when I woke up. 30, meaning behind your YouTube name, it's my name, and uh, that's really it, it's my name. Last book you read. It's been a while, but they made a movie out of the They made a movie out of the book. But it's been a while. 32, the book you currently are reading. I'm not reading any books at this time. It's the summer. These kids are, are all over the place. 33, last show you watched. One of those dance shows yesterday. The last person you talked to, I texted my best friend this morning. Well, she texted me to let me know how her appointment went for the new pregnancy that is coming up. So we'll find out how many weeks she is. I'm excited. She's excited. It's just a miracle all by itself. That's a whole nother story. All right, where am I? I lost my... 35, the relationship between you and the person you last text. That is my best friend of 25 plus years. She is at a doctor's appointment this morning and um, we're gonna find out how many weeks she is currently. This is her first visit. Um, 36, favorite food, sushi at the time uh, by Publix. Publix makes sushi. So I, I grab, um, I think there's like eight of them in there for like $7.99. I really like the California rolls. All right, 37, place you want to visit. Um, I'll, be, I'll be in Tennessee for the holidays, uh, doing the cabin with the kids. I want them to, hopefully it snows so that they could finally ski. That would be one of the things I want them to do. So definitely we'll be at uh, Tennessee and that's a place that we already have scheduled and going uh, for the family. So Tennessee. 38, last place you were. 
last place out you were. Maybe for 37, last place you were for visiting. Jacksonville, Florida for a wedding. And that was in July, last month. Do you have a crush? No, I do not have a crush. Last time you kissed someone, my husband this morning. Last time you were insulted. I don't get insulted. Favorite flavor of sweets? Nerds, I love nerds from the Dollar Tree. What instrument do you play? I play the guitar, the piano. And that's just about it. Favorite pieces of jewelry? Oh gosh, there's a nice one that I got from Forever 21 with this big old diamond in the center. You guys will see it soon. But I, you guys, are, I've worn it a couple of times. So if you are on my Instagram, you should have seen it. It's a really nice chunk necklace with this beautiful uh, rhinestone in the center. Salted favorite sweet to instrument favorite piece of jewelry. Last sport you played. The last soccer. The last song you sang. an old song from from the from the 90s I want to say and it was in a commercial that I heard last night and it just brought me back memories and if I remember it definitely we'll put it in the description bar so you guys would know which song I'm talking about favorite chat up line what they do <laughs> that's how I start most of the conversation have you ever used it yes that's for texting not really having a conversation with someone in real life okay 47 uh, 48 that was texting only 49 last time you you hang out with anyone with the girls oh I just went out to dinner with my uh, double date recently last weekend at a really nice restaurant five-star restaurant really beautiful the, the restaurant was called the grill in Aventure Florida amazing sushi and the red wine there is amazing and the last question is uh, for 50 who should answer these questions whoever has time it's I'm going on almost 20 minutes so whoever has time to, to record this, go ahead and um, go ahead and try this tag. I'm gonna have the questions in the description bar as well. Definitely, um, D is gonna do it. Lyles is the one that tagged me, and anyone else who wants to partake, definitely go ahead. There, there'll be in the description bar. Let me know if you've done it so that I could watch. I definitely will watch. I get excited about things of this nature. And um, that's it, you guys. Hopefully you guys are wrapping up this back to school because that is what I'm doing. And I'm gonna finalize this birthday party that's coming up this weekend. And I will talk to you guys soon. Continue on being a blessing. Thank you so much for uh, joining the family. Always please subscribe, always comment. It's always a pleasure chatting with you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.